Hello and welcome to new episode. Today I have a new microcontroller board and for the first time I'm using Raspberry Pi 2040 board. You are probably familiar with this ESP32 board. This is T display, TTGO T display board and this is almost the same board but microcontroller on this board is not ESP32 it is RP2040 uh, a microcontroller produced by Raspberry Pi I'm not fan of the original Raspberry Pi computer if I can call it computer but I wanted to try the, their microcontroller to see how it works and how it compares to ESP32. And to be honest, I buy this mostly because it comes with this nice plastic case. I always wanted some case for my uh, TTGO T display using like this is okay in some cases but if you want to use this for a long time you will need something pr to protect your board for uh, this video I made this hardware monitor uh, plan is to stick this to my PC or laptop and to monitor current hardware stats and don't worry this sketch wor works on old TTGO T display also I will show you later how to program this or this uh, so here I can uh, monitor my CPU CPU load and uh, CPU power and here is memory a random access memory and hard drive disk space which is you can see that we, it is almost full and here I can also see time and date also data from my PC if the CPU reaches 100% of load red dot will appear in this uh, corner with this button I can easily change brightness of screen and the brightness level is shown here I decided to use a simple des design with few lines and colors and that's it I think it looks pretty cool simple and Neat. If you like this project, I would like to see you in my subscriber list. On my channel you can find many similar videos, so don't forget to check them out. So this board is called T-Display RP2040. It is very similar to my loved ESP32 version. Same size, same display two push buttons almost the same dimensions battery connectors reset button on same place but this Raspberry Pi version have additional push button here which is I think boot both boards look similar but they are completely different boards because of microcontroller of course I will not compare ESP32 and uh, RP2040 in this video because there is like a million videos that already covered that I will tell you a few important differences. This board can't connect 
to internet. There is no Wi-Fi connection connectivity options. Also, ESP32 is slightly faster microcontroller and it uh, have more memory. I am an ESP32 fan, but I can't say that this microcontroller is bad or useless. There are a lot, lots of happy users that love RP2040, so there are already tons of cool projects with boards similar to this. This chip have few advantages over ESP32 and it is an interesting piece of technology. What is important to me that it can be programmed in Arduino IDE and this display is driven by TFT SPI library. Board is easy to set up and there are few examples in library to start with. But I love this case. This is smart design because this board can still be used on breadboard. Of course I will need to solder pins first. But for this project I don't need breadboard or any external or data from PC. Ok, let's make this. First you will need to upload code. Code for both boards is in description. When code is uploaded to a board you will go to this link to this page. This link is also in description of this video. So I, I find this project and we will need to use additional software that we will run in Windows and that software will send data to our board using serial port. So I will sc scroll down and I will download this home Ardnex. Okay. So I will go here download as zip. I will extract that zip file. I will run open folder and here in folder 5 here is software.exe. Right click run as administrator. I will choose serial port where my board is. I will choose update time for example each second and I will choose only thing I need so I don't need temperature I don't need graphic card temperature low than memory and I don't need second hard drive and I will hit connect and on your display you should see data. It is very simple. And that's it. Thank you very much and I hope this will be useful for some of you. If you are new here, don't forget to check my other videos, there are many cool or similar videos on my channel. Thank you, have a nice day and I will see you very soon, maybe next week, I don't know. Have a nice day, goodbye.